Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotac and Apple released tvOS 26 to the public. tvOS 26 is available around the world at the same time for everyone on the Apple TV 4K, both second and third generation, along with the Apple TV HD from 2015, but with some limited features to sort of the design look overall. Now we have a bunch of new changes and features along with a slightly changed design. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's new. TVOS 26 looks fairly familiar, however it has an all new design as far as liquid glass is concerned. The top menu, if I move over to Apple TV, has liquid glass. If I move over to Prime Video, it sort of changes or frosts the background, and you'll see it changes based on what app is selected. So if we go back maybe to Apple TV, you can see that, and as I scroll down, you'll see some of the new icons here with the background blurred with the content above. So you'll see we have a new sing app. We'll come back to that later. We have a new music icon. We have a new podcast icon, and these are all matching what we have in iOS 26 for consistency. We have arcade and photos. And as we scroll down here, you'll see all of the different third party apps I have as well, but it gives you an idea that we have new icons here. We also have a new liquid glass design. So maybe if I press and hold the menu option button here, we have liquid glass for that. So if we go over, we can go to our home here, of course, and scroll down and you'll see different options here. Now, if we go back over one more, you'll see we have our power off audio games and everything else. So it looks a little bit different. And then of course we have our accounts here. And the accounts can now be set by default to boot up to maybe one account or ask you every time. So that's a new option, but let's go ahead into our settings so I can show you that. So if we go into our settings, under settings, you'll see we have profiles and accounts. If we go under this, you'll see choose profile on wake, where you can choose your profile anytime the Apple TV wakes from asleep. You of course don't have to have this. We can turn it off and it brings us back to how it was before. But if you have a bunch of different profiles, this can be helpful. You of course can set things such as your default profile, additional profiles and suggested profiles as well. So adjust that for however it works best for you. If we go back out here and we go down to system, Within system, we can go down to where it says what's new. We actually have a new splash screen where it's showing you a new beautiful design, new Apple TV we'll explore in a moment and a few other things. So if we go back out, go to our screen savers here, we have some new ones, some very nice ones as well. So you'll see current selection is aerials. And if we go into this, you'll see aerials, memories and slideshows, portraits and Snoopy. So very similar to before. However, we have different options for aerials. So if we go in here, you can choose them. And now we have different options for cityscape, earth, landscape, and underwater. And they've added additional ones for aerial views of India, including Goa and Kerala. And also you can personalize this more just by choosing cityscape or whatever works best for you. So you can see there's lots of different options that they've added throughout the year and additional ones as well. So some really nice ones. If you want to check them out, be sure to go through these or you can just leave it alone and it will sort of sort through those as well. So it's one of my favorite things. If you just leave it on, sometimes you see some of these screen savers and they just happen to show up and you see something you hadn't seen before and again underwater. So, We've had many of these before, but again, there's quite a few new ones. So if we go back out, we'll go here, press and hold. We'll go out again and you'll see a new one in India. Go to the next one just by pressing next on the controller here. Another one in India, some very nice landscapes throughout. So definitely be sure to check those out. Another option we have under settings. So if we go down here, go over to settings again, and then we'll go back a couple. We'll go into video and audio. We have a new option now. So if we go down to audio output, we can now designate airplay speakers as the audio output. So maybe we have some home pods. We want it to always stay connected to. We could do that with speakers. We can even do that with anything that you can select. So whether it's a home pod or maybe AirPods, you can actually permanently select an airplay speaker. So that's something that's very nice, very convenient. If you want to use that. If we go into Apple music, sing, this is something we've had before where it was in music, where you can sing karaoke on your Apple TV, but they've updated it this time around. So maybe we'll go into this one and you'll see, we now have the option to connect your iPhone as the microphone. So if we want to go ahead and connect that, we now get a QR code from Apple. We can scan it with our iPhone. So on your iPhone, when it connects, it says you're connected and ready to sing. You can start singing or go into audio check and you have some options. So you have start test. SDR mode, 
And then of course you can use the top of the microphone to sing. So you can add a song here and start singing in the top. So let's go ahead and slide that up. Now we can use the microphone on the top for song vocals on the top of our iPhone. So we want to hold it like a microphone and you'll see we have mic reverb and song vocals. So that's really nice that we have that. We can start singing, go into maybe this song. And then we have the option to view the lyrics. And if it's a song that's in a language that's not the same as ours, we have translation available as well, similar to what we have on iOS 26. And then on our iPhone, if we want to disconnect, we can just turn it off. We can give it a thumbs up. You'll see it on the screen. We've got different emoji and you can use it with that. Also within Apple Music Sing, you'll see if you have continuity camera enabled, you can then use your face in the background while you're singing over a song. So we have lyrics here. So if we go up to the top here, we now can hide the translation. So you'll see there's translation, hide, or we can show the translation. And based on what you're singing and what language you actually speak in, it will show a translation for that. So that's an update here with Apple Music Sing. So you have that along with your volume controls and the new liquid glass design. So if you wanna show your face behind singing, you can do that along with live translation at the same time or just select your favorite song. Within FaceTime, we have a new design. This is the new liquid glass design on tvOS 26 for FaceTime. It's very similar to what we have on iOS 26, iPadOS 26, and macOS 26. So we have these larger tiles, and if we go to new, you'll see all of your different contacts appear with frosted glass or liquid glass, depending on what's behind the scene. So you'll see here, I'm sort of frosted behind there. We also have some liquid glass controls for things such as center stage, if we go over here, we can blur or unblur the background. So again, goes back out and you'll see those different changes here along with the tap backs one. So we have those as well as that new design. Now we also have some updates with live captions. Live captions is now also available in French, German, Japanese, Korean, Mandarin, and Spanish. Additionally, FaceTime audio and phone call notifications will appear on screen for active profiles. So depending on the profile, you'll actually see that on screen. So that's something that they've updated with this update, which is really nice. And it allows users to also answer on connected HomePod speakers or on their iPhone, ensuring that you can grab the call wherever you are. Now, if we go over to the TV app, we have an update. So this has a different design now. So if we scroll down, you'll see sort of larger posters with a liquid glass design, and this makes it easier to discover new shows. So it's very consistent with what we have on iOS and iPadOS and everything else now. And if we go back over to the left, we can go to Apple TV and you'll see the menu itself has that liquid glass design to it. So sports and the store and library and everything else has that design and just has larger movie posters. So overall, I think it looks pretty good, but again, it's a redesign and you'll find that throughout. Also, third-party apps now have the ability to link app logins to Apple accounts to make it much easier to log in. So maybe you just installed an app such as Hulu and you go to sign in, you no longer have to type your password. The third-party developer can sort of just hand that off to Apple and connect your account and get your information that way, making it much easier but the app does need to be updated to support that. So that's everything with tvOS 26, an all new design that sort of matches everything with iOS 26 with new app icons and more, updates to Apple Music Sing, and just basic changes throughout, some nice updates to FaceTime and more. Let me know what you think of tvOS 26 in the comments below, if you updated already, or if you're maybe you're holding out for a little bit. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.